Is creatine linked to depression? Let's see what science has to say about that. 95% of the creatine your body makes or consumes ends up in your skeletal muscles, where research has indicated it can improve athletic performance, speed, and recovery. But where do the other 5% end up? Well, they're spread across your whole body, but mainly they end up in your brain. And that's precisely why numerous studies have explored the potential impacts of creatine on mental health. Imagine your brain as the command center for managing your emotions. For individuals with treatment-resistant depression, where standard therapies have fallen short, researchers wanted to see if adding creatine could make a difference. In a 2017 study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology, they uncovered something truly fascinating. Participants who supplemented their regular antidepressants with creatine experienced a significant improvement in their mood. It was like giving their emotional well-being a powerful double boost. Imagine your brain as a team of workers. When it's struggling with depression, those workers need more energy to get things back on track. Creatine acts like a supercharger, helping to supply that extra energy. This research implies that a potent approach to more successfully treat depression may be to combine creatine with conventional therapies. For scientists, as well as those who are depressed, this is welcome news. It creates fresh opportunities for therapies that might truly improve people's lives. More ways that creatine may help us feel better and more upbeat may be found as scientists continue to investigate its potential. Continuing the discoveries made in earlier studies, in a 2023 study, Kando et al. published in Sports Medicine, looked at how supplementing with creatine affected people with major depressive disorder, a placebo or creatine supplementation in addition to their regular antidepressant medication was randomly assigned to participants in this rigorous randomized controlled trial. With this approach, it is made possible to attribute any effects seen to the creatine supplement itself. The study participants were chosen especially because they had previously responded poorly to conventional antidepressant medications. Using recognized clinical assessment instruments, researchers tracked the participants' depressive symptoms during the usually several weeks to months-long study period. Kando et al. reported strong findings at the end of the trial. People who were supplemented with creatine had far better improvement in their depressive symptoms than those who took a placebo. Those who had previously shown resistance to conventional antidepressant medications alone were especially notable for this improvement. The researchers concluded that adding creatine to antidepressant medication could enhance treatment response in patients with major depression. This finding opens a promising new avenue for addressing treatment-resistant depression by combining creatine supplementation with conventional antidepressant drugs for synergistic effects. From a science perspective, this study advances our understanding of creatine, typically associated with muscle energy metabolism and its potential impact on mood regulation and brain function. By boosting ATP availability in the brain, creatine might improve neuron function and increase resilience against depression symptoms. Further strong proof of the advantages of supplementing with creatine comes from a systematic review and meta-analysis by Smith et al., which was published in Neuropsychiatric Disease and Treatment in 2021. To look at how creatine affects brain function, more specifically, how it might affect mood control, Smith et al. combined data from multiple studies. Their comprehensive analysis found consistent evidence suggesting that creatine supplementation could enhance various effects of brain function, which may include improving mood regulation. This meta-analysis reinforces the findings from clinical trials like Kando et al.'s study, which demonstrated that creatine supplementation, alongside antidepressant therapy, improved treatment response in individuals with major depressive disorder. Smith and colleagues highlight creatine's dual role in enhancing brain health and supporting muscle energy metabolism by synthesizing data from several studies. These results open new therapeutic options for mental health care, positioning creatine as a promising adjunctive therapy for mood disorders. Smith et al.'s systematic study bolsters the growing body of evidence pointing to creatine's significance in mental health. Collectively, these findings underscore the need for further research into the brain's mechanisms by which creatine operates and its potential applications in improving mental health outcomes. Adding to this, Allen et al. delved into the intricate relationship between brain bioenergetics and depression in their 2019 study published in the Journal of Affective Disorders. They proposed a novel mechanism whereby creatine supplementation increases ATP availability in the brain, potentially offering therapeutic benefits for depression. By explaining how creatine enhances energy metabolism in brain cells, Allen et al. illuminated how this supplement may alleviate depression symptoms by boosting cellular energy stores. This study builds on earlier research, including Kando et al.'s clinical trial and Smith et al.'s meta-analysis, suggesting that creatine's impact on brain bioenergetics might underpin its effectiveness as an adjunctive therapy for treating depression. 
Did you know hmm. that consuming around one gram of creatine daily could reduce what? your risk of depression by 31% compared to just 0.15 grams a day? Your brain relies on creatine to maintain its energy balance, helping to fend off the blues. But creatine's benefits extend beyond merely boosting energy levels. According to Ryan Sultan, a professor at Columbia University, people with depression often have lower levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, crucial for brain health and neuron growth. Sultan's research suggests that creatine might actually increase BDNF levels, potentially improving mood. Before you jump on the creatine bandwagon, Sultan advises caution. More high-quality studies are needed to fully confirm if creatine can effectively treat depression. Scientists have linked depression to problems with how the brain generates and uses energy. Creatine supplements could help restore this energy balance by supporting high-energy phosphate metabolism in the brain. Essentially, creatine acts as an energy reserve that neurons can quickly access when needed. Further supporting this, a 2017 study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology found that women who hadn't responded to other antidepressants experienced significant improvement when given 5 grams of creatine daily, along with 200 milligrams of serotonin precursor for 8 weeks. Interestingly, part of these serotonin precursors were also present in the creatine supplements they were taking. So what do you think? Could creatine be a game changer in the fight against depression? The evidence so far is promising. Well, the most convincing possible application of creatine outside of exercise is, by far, the treatment of depression. 52 women participated in a tiny 8-week research in South Korea 10 years ago, taking either an antidepressant or the same antidepressant with creatine. Additionally, a success rate twice that of the group just taking the antidepressant was achieved by the end of the trial when half the women in the creatine group were depressed free. Then again, after controlling for demographic and lifestyle variables, the risk of screening positive for depression was 31% lower among adults in the highest compared to the lowest quartile of creatine consumption, said University of Utah researchers two years ago after analyzing data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey from 22,692 individuals individuals over the age of 20. From their diet, consumers in the highest quartile received almost 1 gram of creatine daily, while those in the lowest quartile received just 0.15 grams. And so creatine, they reasoned, might increase brain energy metabolism and capacity. Additionally, although not proven, the Journal of Hyperplasia Research reports that creatine may impact the synthesis of serotonin, a chemical created in your brain that is mostly found in your intestinal tract, blood platelets, and throughout your central nervous system. Sadly, mood disorders such as major depressive disorder, bipolar disorder, anxiety disorders, and post-traumatic stress disorder are significant global causes of disability. These mental health issues affect millions of people worldwide, with current estimates suggesting that between 5 and 6% of the world's population at any given time exhibits symptoms of these disorders. The pervasive impact of these conditions highlights the urgent need for effective treatments and interventions. Addressing these disorders is not only crucial for alleviating individual suffering, but also for enhancing overall public health. Continuous research and innovation are essential to develop better therapeutic strategies and provide hope for those grappling with these challenging mental health issues. Future studies in the field of neuropsychiatric illnesses will find creatine to be an appealing choice given its safety profile and ability to repair brain bioenergetics. If you want to learn more about the effects of creatine on your body, make sure to watch the next video.